So, we wait for the Foley Challenge. Race Attention. number 56. Go! The Royal Grammar School Wickham on the back side, on the right of your screen, against the Hilversum. Rowan Ferry and Eiking Cornelius from Holland. Two of Dutch crews that we're going to see so far. A little bit of history to tell you about as this sets off, but at the moment it looks like the Dutch crew are very strong and they fancy themselves here. It's their debut for all of them on this particular stretch of water and they look to have made a good start. So, yeah, they've done very well, Jonathan. Uh, I think it's very important to understand that this, this club is, uh, is a quite different type of club than the rest of the Dutch crews racing here. It's, it's made up of juniors and then also very senior members. There's no middle ground, so it's, it's very much the development and the uh, retirement of rowing. And that's what you've got here. It's also from a very, um, very central part of Holland, so where they row on a, a mainly just canals. So again, they won't have experienced the stream that they're getting here at Henley today, and what a stream and wind it is. This is going to be a close race. Three of the crew on your, the right of your screen from Royal Grammar School Wickham. They made their debut here three years ago, and you know who they rode against? Their opposition today, clearly not the same crew, but there is a score to settle because that was their debut in 2013 and they lost. So they're determined to do well here. And at the moment, it looks as if the homegrown talent, and this is their home stretch of water, Wickham just down the road from Henley, look as if they've got into an early stride and an early lead. Absolutely, you can see their bow man looking over a little bit. I'm sure I know what he's saying when he's calling. He's saying, remember, remember. There's Having nothing... spoken to them, Alex, I can tell you, that word has been used a lot. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely, but you have to be very careful when you when you employ that tactic, uh, Jonathan, because you go hard, you go very hard at the beginning, but then the lactic acid really builds up in your legs as you don't relax into the race and try and get into an aerobic sort of state of rowing. But it looks like, Jonathan, they're moving away slowly down the course and, and extending that lead. Sam Williams in the number three seat, Nick Davison, and uh, James Beagles in the bow. They've been together for three years. They know each other really well. And Ethan O'Connor in the two seats, just come back from uh, GB Trials, Junior 16s, and came second. So this is a boat with a lot of potential. They, they know each other, and they're in, in, a, in a real groove, it's got to be said. Absolutely, they're in a real groove, and I, I think Strokeman will be trying to point, uh, point, uh, make a point to prove to the GB selectors to move away from a, a Dutch international crew on home soil. Look at me, I've got it, I've got the capability, select me for the Junior World Championships. Although it does seem they have differing views on, the, on their choice of eyewear, okay. Jonathan. Yes, is that, is that important in a crew that you've got to decide exactly that you're all coordinated? <laughs> No, 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 but I definitely wouldn't say it's a day for, for, for sunglasses, so I think that's a, that's a psychological thing for this guy. I've noticed quite a few crews throughout the day, even when it was raining, I mean, really hard rain as well, the shades were still down. Absolutely, I think it's a way of people just getting into their own bubble, rowing their own race, blocking out, a bit like the horses with the, the blinds at the start of uh, any jump races or anything, just keeps you calm, keeps you in your own self, which is so important, because at the end of the day, when you're racing, all you can control is you. The other crew is going to do what they do, and you have to be able to be aware of what your body's doing and respond and push it on more. And maybe the sunglasses are a way of doing that, particularly in the weather that we're having today. Interesting to know the coach of uh, this particular crew is 80 years old. And he was at the 1958 Commonwealth Games of the man you've just been talking about, Mike Spratlin. Wow, that is a, that is an amazing stat. It's a, it's, I think that's a, a real great thing about this sport is that the amount of time that people give of their lives to it because it's so addictive, it's uh, it's so rewarding whether you're in the boat or you're on the bank. It's so rewarding seeing people develop, and getting better at the efficiency of the rowing, the stroke, and at the end of the day, winning because rowing is a uh, is a sport about people crossing the line first uh, and, and collecting the medals. Harry Baker turned 80 in December. Uh, I was talking to Sam's father as well, he is the chairman of the club. Five years ago, when they first joined, there were only, I think, five competitive rowers at Royal yeah. Grammar School Wickham, now there are 60. It's fantastic to see. Uh, I, I, I have to I have to admit, we were not a club of prominence when I was rowing as a, as a schoolboy, and, and that's really good to see them developing and moving away here today. I think they've definitely got a shot for the final as we approach the, uh, the last few strokes of the race with quite a significant lead over the Dutch. Well, the Dutch have played their part. Paul Rickers was telling me he's, uh, it's the second time he's been to Henley's. 40 years as a coach, and it's a dream come true, but this is a magnificent performance by RGS Wickham. 
they are determined to make it through to the next round of this Fawley Challenge, and they've done it in style. The Dutch come in, they played their part early on, but they have been well beaten. And as Alex Partridge takes a well-earned rest, preparing, of course, for his performance here in the Vistas Cup, pleased to say that Jim Harlow, chairman of British Rowing Competitions, is just joining me in the commentary position as we look at the victorious RGS Wickham crew.